Welcome Trolls. <laughs> Hi everyone, Bruce Schwartz here, an amateur astronomer with a lot of luck. I see a lot of stuff out there. This is a directional change. Oh, we'll see that twice. It's um, a petite, a small directional change maybe we could say, as compared to the one I drastically saw. This object's very far away, definitely not seen with the naked eye. I'm using an infrared camera. Let's see that one more time and we'll see that very distinct but very small directional change. Let's take a look at it again. There are only so many scenarios that we can, you know, use. What is on the moon? Well, let me tell you something. If the governments, for example, theoretically hid that the ancient people on this earth were more advanced than us, it would stop people from thinking we went to the moon, right? If we were told that thousands of years ago on earth, there was a very evolved sort of magical spiritual people here on earth. That's why we hold some of that spirituality. That's why there are so many different religions and different understandings of exactly what's out there. We each have our own belief. Let's use common sense. Here's Bianchini Crater. If something happened, a cataclysmic event, and they left earth, look here. You can see the objects, they're built, they're one beside the other, more than one that are the same dimensions. Could be buildings, right? Here's 90 degree angles and straight edges that show us, yeah, well, possibly somebody could be up there. So if they left because of a cataclysmic event or a flood or something, they would not necessarily have come back if they were able to manage being on the moon. Then at one point, there would have been a communication with the people on the moon, which could have been human themselves, maybe part human, as they would have children living on the moon, they would develop, uh, you know, a difference in the DNA, but would be very similar to us here on Earth. What if when they left, they kept an eye on Earth and said, if ever some were left, that they would come back and save us or maybe leave some type of information as to what has happened, right? And as to the reason why they went to the moon on a Harley Davidson. They would definitely know how to reach us, right? Like in our minds, they'd be able to come back and communicate with us. Maybe they'd want to be safe and not tell us that they were humans, fearing we wouldn't believe them. And again, this is theoretical, but maybe those humans more evolved than us that were once here with us, or should I say before us, decided to come back and to pretend they were gods. Hear me out. This is just theoretical. Uh, I already, I'm already assuming people are going to judge me, but it doesn't really matter because I like throwing these theories out there. And... I think it's healthy to have a very open mind about anything and everything. And everything that I am telling you people that I believe is in my footage doesn't mean it's, it's so. But I'm still allowed my opinion, please. I know most of you appreciate it. And I know some of you follow the channel that may even disagree with me sometimes, but that's okay. It's okay. Families fight too sometimes. And, you know, it's healthy, right? And it's magical for me. For me, it's, I'm very emotional about all of it. You know, losing my father, I'm sure many of you can uh, and have, you know, lost loving family members where we just wonder where we all go, right? And then we can't help but wonder where we all came from. We're all in this together. We've all had the same information. We've all viewed the same sea scrolls. We've all viewed and analyzed and come up with our own 
understandings on the same information that we've all read. And it's okay. Different religions, different beliefs. I think everyone should respect that and just leave it at that, right? But we often fight. One religion wants the other religion um, to believe them, you know, and it's just fighting about who's God and reading Bible passages and oh my gosh. I mean, I studied theology uh, myself, which is the study of, you know, all religions. And basically, I came to a really fast understanding that the God that's out there knows that you do not know who he is. So just believe in him. Don't follow anyone. Just believe in him. Even if you don't know who he is or where he is or when he's coming. I have faith. And when you read the Bible and stuff like that, not to linger on the Bible, but it's true. You know, they tell you to keep your faith. And that's just quite simply what I do. But I'm not taking away the possibility that there could be millions of people up there. John Lear said it. He was the first one that I saw it said it online. And I sort of really wanted to see what the hell was up there. And when you see all these structures and, I mean, you can't help but be amazed and realize how bloody big the secret is. Why are they hiding this? I don't know. Who is out there? Imagine, could it be another being? Could it be uh, a breakaway civilization? I think either way, it is absolutely astoundingly interesting and amazingly um, just incredible to be able to get the chance to have seen a structure on the moon. For me, it changed my life and I wanted to share that. So a lot of people get mad at me sometimes, not sometimes, pretty much all the time. They don't appreciate my techniques. They don't appreciate this and that of my research. But I say, hey guys, you know, don't stick to one way. There are many ways to get to Rome. So there are many ways to do uh, research. You know, think of it. We're all in this together. I'm doing this because I want the world to know that there are other people on the moon. Even the religion, even the people that I probably don't get along with, I want them to know anyways. And I want each of you to have your own decisions uh, on exactly what is up there. But the way I'm presenting the moon, uh, for me, it's a lot uh, clearer and nicer than the way I've seen it since the beginning on the moon. On the moon, speaking of on the moon, Look at the green surface again. It literally looks like vegetation, but look over here, that crater with that line at the back of it. Now you see, I've heard many stories on the moon and um, I just keep seeing um, on the moon, everything that's on YouTube, everything you researchers that have been here longer than me are talking about. You're talking about a frame on the moon. You're talking about towers. I mean, it's all true guys. I can confirm to you Everything, almost, almost everything that every channel is saying on YouTube, it's really true. Whether it be a NASA photo that they're using or a private research like me, there is definitely someone up there. Dalai Lama, crawl face, see crawl face. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Leon, oh, Leanne, Sully, thank you so much. Mr. Richard Crooks. Michelle Oberson. Thanks, guys. Julia Craig.